can't have like a query component without actually having mutations because that's kind of like useless, right? Like you're, you're not just going to get stuff, like you want to do stuff with the stuff that you get. I'm going to go over the mutation component and um, that's it. We're going to have some fun, okay? So first things out of the way, I'm using a GraphQL thing because the other one that I had uh, it does, it does have mutations, but it sets it as draft and that wouldn't be as cool because it wouldn't get like the instant gratification. I would have to keep opening up um, the CMS that I'm using. So that wouldn't be, that wouldn't be as cool. And I already written up some queries. So I have get names, which uh, I love this. <laughs> I just love it. So you query all names, this you get the ID and the name of the person. Then you have an add name, which means create names. And I, I may have named the tables wrong, but you get my point. And you pass it a name that is a string. It's a mandatory and uh, it returns a name and ID. And you also have a mutation for deleting a name. Okay. So this is what we're going to go over. The query part is already done. So we have an index here, not the index, I mean the main, where we have a fragment that just has an H1, that is this, that says add a person. Then you have this beautiful little form and then you have all the beautiful names. Okay, cool. So the names are pretty much done because we already, we already have this, right? Well, so what we need to do is actually add the mutation component to this, okay? So what have I done here? Poop, okay, I'm kidding. So what I've done here is I've added um, recompose and I've had it just with state so that I get a name and that when you change the name, it just the set name. It's because I'm lazy. I don't know. And it just sets the name to that target type value so that we have that in our, um, in our state. And that is pretty much like the only thing besides adding some HTML that I've actually done in here. So we're pretty much starting the mutation thing from scratch and let's get started. Okay. So first thing that we need to do is actually import mutation from react Apollo. Okay. So let's do that. Okay. So import mutation from react Apollo. Cool. Huh? Everyone just is like, yes, I've also uh, removed semicolons. That's pretty much all that I did. Okay. So we got to wrap the mutate. We got to wrap this form around the mutation that we're getting. Okay. Because what we want to do is we want to sub on, on this form submit. We want to actually get a mutation. We want to do a mutation that runs this create this add name. Okay. So let's already import the add name as well in here. So I'm going to import just leave a space add name from queries. Okay. That is pretty much it. Okay. So now let's come here and add the mutation just like we did with the query and just like, just like with the query, it does nothing by itself. Okay. So just like the query, we pass it a query thing in here. We got to pass it a mutation. So mutation is equal to this beautiful one called add name. You got to chill, dude. There we go. Mutation is equal to add name. Okay, cool. What does this do? Absolutely nothing. We got to pass it the, the render props. Okay, so in this case, let me just open and close this and let me pass all of this over here so that I don't screw this up. And we have a function that will return all of this basically. Okay, so what does this function get? Okay, for now, we're gonna worry about the first part that this function gets. And the first part is if we go to add names, we get this, so create names. And this is what the function gets. The function gets the name of the mutation that we passed in. This is the wrong JS file. So, create names. And this is what we want to call when we submit the form. And you're like, it can't be that easy. Well, it is. So literally I come here and I'm like on submit. So let me just do this and put this in here. So that is more readable on submit. What we want to do is like, uh, we want to do create, we want to call a function that sets create names and inside of it, we want to pass the variables and the variables are name. So name is equal to name because we already have this with state. If Okay. So the way the with state works is that we pass it a state name and a way to set the state. So basically I have uh, this, that state, that name, and I have set name. What set name does is that if I change this, it literally changes the name to whatever is written here because I have an on change. Okay. So I don't know why I deleted that because this is literally it. So if I just, if I do something now and I enter, oh, yeah, so now it's loading and yeah, so that's not actually it. I forgot to prevent default. So we get E and so let me actually open an actual function here. And I think the various part about like these tutorials is that I am not perfect in them whatsoever. So you're like, oh, everyone fucks up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. We all do that. That's fine. 
So I'm just gonna write something, and if I enter, you're gonna like, oh my god, nothing happened, you fucked up again. No, I didn't, that's the thing. But, it didn't update the cache. Okay? Because, if you think about it, I didn't do anything to actually update the cache. But we did a mutation, so you gotta high-five ourselves for that. But, it's like, uh, what? <laughs> you're like, wait, what? If you, if you want to actually take a look at this, I can like, I can do this async and then await this and uh, what did I do wrong? Async, await, uh, uh, what? Okay, it's probably just a weird bug. Async, there we go. Okay, async, oh, uh, wait to create names and then I set name to this. And what this is going to do is that, oh, I wrote async wrong. What didn't anyone tell me? Come on, guys, what are you doing over there? Okay, so we wait create names and then we set the name to zero. Now, like, I just gotta come here and like a value equals name. Okay, cool. So if I do this and uh, now try to add a name, try to add lol and hit enter, you can see that it clears afterwards. Okay, so let me just reload because I deleted a bunch of these from the database. Yeah, it clears afterwards. So you know that a mutation is actually created, but the cache isn't updated. Well, the guys and girls from Apollo are amazing. So we have an update cache method here, prop actually, that uh, I'm just gonna create a function that's called the same thing. So update cache is gonna call an update cache function. And this, what this function gets, so let me come here and const update cache equals a function. So I'm just gonna do this so that it stops complaining. There we go. Update cache is not defined. I probably gotta reload the page, wait. Okay, do I have to reload the page? Let me check, yeah. Okay, so what does this function actually get? So this function gets the cache that we have, that's the thing that we have to update, and gets a second parameter of which we want the data of it. Okay, so we deconstruct the data out of it. And what is this data? This data is all the things, so if I console.log this data, and I also console.log the cache, we can see which one is which, and we get a better idea of what the hell is going on in this place. So if I just had like name here and I hit enter, update cache didn't get called for some reason. Let me reload the page. If I type something in here and hit enter, okay, so the name of this function is not update cache, sorry about that, it's update. So now if I come here and I, and I write something and then hit enter, we're gonna see this. Okay, so this is all that we get in um in the data okay so in the data we get an we get optimistic config we had type add type name wait no this is a cat shit okay in the cache we get all the things that we have so we have this data in here which has names that is an object that has an id and has a name okay does this make sense and then we here we get create names and that's actually what we want because that's what we get from the server so let's just only get that and what we want to do is basically we want to get all the names that we have so we want to read of this but this is not a really nice way of reading so we have like we have a function that allows us to do this so I'm just gonna const uh, data that's not being used because we're gonna console.log this and we're gonna cache the requery we're gonna read a query from the cache basically so this is what we we're pretty much used to see in, in uh, Apollo link state and the query is all names. Let me get the name of the query here. Uh, it's get names, sorry. This returns all names. And the query is, let me copy this and do this. Query is get names. And now let me console.log this data so that you can see better what's going on. So I type something in here. I hit enter and we get an array of all the names that we have. So we get this, all names. And this is actually what we want. So let's just let, just do that. And okay, so we have this and we want to just we want to write a query basically. And that's what we want to do. So I'm going to go cache the write query with one y open do this and to this we have to pass it a query and the query is this and we have to pass it what we want to change. So let me just slowly go over here so I don't ah, there we go. So don't change the page. And we want to pass in the data. And what is the data? So we want to change the all names. Okay, I'm sorry about the names, guys. I'm sorry. So all names is we want to change that. And what do we want to do? We want to concatenate what we just got. So I'm going to go all names. This is that's the thing that we got at the top that concat. 
and we can cat this create name. So this is a new one that we have. And if I just save, and this is not going to be very visible since I have a, a ton of names here, and this happened as well. So I'm going to add a name. I'm going to do it in camel case, like lolly. And if enter, and if I go to the bottom of this page, uh, if I reload the page now, let me just reload the page. Okay, so, oh, this is a problem with the actual page. Wait, wait, I think I may, what, what? Ah, God damn it. Wait, there we go. Yeah, there's no scrolling in the page. This is a problem with the actual page. Oh, there we go. Okay, so the scrolling is working again. So if I do this and hit enter, you're going to see that at the bottom, we have the new thing. This would be way cooler if I didn't have <coughs> a ton of stuff here. But we got it concatenating. Isn't that awesome? Like, you just updated the cache, and it was actually pretty easy. Like, all we did was read a query from the cache, and then write the same thing to the cache with a concatenated thing. So that we update the cache. This is so cool. This is so good. I know, right? This is so good. God bless Apollo. Swear to God. So that's pretty cool, but you know what would be awesome if we could delete things? Because I have a, a whole bunch of them, and I don't really want to log in into GraphCool. So let me just come here to uh, the, the names one. And in the names one, let me open it. Okay. We have this X that is inside of these brackets for some reason. And this X could delete things. Like, that would be dope. Okay, so let's get the, this over here. Because I don't remember what I named it. I obviously named it delete name. And, the, and I also want to get the mutation. So now that we've done it once, I think it's going to be a lot easier now. So let me just put this in here and get the mutation. And close this mutation. And now here, we get this. And in here, we get a function. And we return this beautiful little thing. This pan with a right pointer. There we go. And beautiful. Okay, so let me just go back. And... Save it. Ah, oh, oh, it doesn't matter. Okay, so now let me come here to the queries again. And what this gets is the delete names. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. So what this gets is the... De what is that? There we go. So this gets the delete names as a mutation. And now I want to call this on click. On click. I want to come here. And I want to call delete names. And I want to pass, I need to pass it the ID, and the ID is the ID. And this says, undefined pass, and the final was passed, not about it. you may need to use GraphQL tag or another method to convert your operation. Okay. That's cool. But what is that, though? Let me reload. Oh, okay. That's an, an actual problem. What to do? Oh, the problem is that I didn't actually pass it the mutation. That makes perfect sense. That was not very smart. So, mutation, delete names. And it was like, uh, I can't read that. Yeah, because there's nothing there. <laughs> so, let me reload the page. And there we go. Okay, so if I do this, variable ID expected or value, but value is undefined. Because I didn't pass it as a variable. Sorry about that. Like, I got way too cocky at, the, at this one. I was like, yeah, this one is so easy now. Like, Sarah, you're going to nail this. Variable, variables, and the ID is equal to the ID. And I'm missing a curly bracket here, I think. Yeah. So let me try and delete this. And like, if I reload the page, it deleted. Okay. So now let's do the same thing. So update. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy so that you can see like how easy this is to change from one place to the other. I'm going to come here to the form. This has nothing to do with the fact that I'm very lazy. Okay. I want you to see how easy it is, okay? It's 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 only that. Ops. Okay. So I have this update cache, okay? And in here, I actually don't get the create names. What I get in here, I get the create names. In here, I get the delete names. So this is what I need to change. So everywhere that's create names is delete names, okay? Cool. So in here, I want to do the exact same thing. So I want to read, I want to read this query. And I want to write to that query, but instead of concatenating to them, that's not what I want to do. I want to return everything except the, I want to filter through this array of all the names that I have and only return the ones that are not the same as the ID that I just deleted. So I'm going to filter and the filter, I'm going to pass it uh, an N and I want to return if the N.ID 
is different, then delete names, delete names that ID. This is the ID that we passed it in here. So if I do this now, let me load the page. I keep thinking that it's a reload of the page. If I do this now, you can see that it works. Like we get no loading. And wouldn't it be cool if we got a loading? Yeah, you're fine. I was like, did I do this? No, okay. <laughs> so in here, we actually get a bunch of other attributes. I'm gonna call it at TRs. That sounded very weird. That sounded very British. God damn it, I'm British now. And, uh, okay, and I'm gonna default this to an empty object because this sometimes comes with a loading, but sometimes it also comes with, with null. And if we just like, at TTRs, the loading, it crashes. So I'm gonna like, ATTRs. so the attributes that we get, did I really properly, I'm not sure. If it's loading, I want to show a loading. If it's not, I want to show the deleted X. Okay, so cool. So now if I click this, it's gonna tell me to reload the page. Something is like, okay. So now if I click this, it goes to loading and then it deletes it. Isn't this so pretty? I'm just gonna delete everything, okay? Names is an I Oh, I tried to delete it twice. Sorry about that. I was not fast enough. Let me delete this. There we go. So now we got nothing. But if I write like this is Oh, it doesn't yeah. So I was I was like I was not doing it right. This is so dope. As you can see, it's so pretty. Like it's so pretty. Like I like this so much, okay? I just, I like this. Let's go over this, like, one more time. So, we wrap whatever we want to do in a mutation component. We pass it a mutation, and if we want to, and of course, this is not mandatory, because you may just be updating something that you're not showing to the user. So, and that's, that's fine, I guess. If you change pages and everything, you don't actually need to do this. And um, we pass it an update function, that in this case is called update cache, and what this does is basically, like, reads our cache that, that Apollo has and changes it. So it's like an immutable thing. Like you want to change the cache. So you immutably change the cache. That's, that's, that, 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 that's it. And then you get the name of the mutation inside of it and you call it. You call it with the variables that you want and you can await it. You can do what I did here with the, um, where is that? With the uh, TTRs and the loading. And I'm just going to close this so you can see like the whole thing. And this is so pretty. Like, this is literally all that I need to do. Like, on click, delete names. And if it's loading, show a loading. If it's not, just show the X back again. And this this file is literally... This file with 40 lines is literally, literally all that you need to get a query and a mutation inside of that query. And now you tell me that this new version of a pulp is not dope. It's so dope. Okay, so... That is pretty much all I wanted to show you. I hope like everyone is excited about this as I am and people that work on Apollo do not count because this is their work and it does not count if you're excited about your work because we all are because that's what I said, we're all programmers, so yeah. And that's it. I hope you have a great day and see you all.